Ahoy everyone, this is Dominic from the Comic Book Report YouTube channel, back for another guest review for Organic Price Books. Today we're going to be taking a look at Jerry Dugan's Marauders Hardcover Volume 2. This picks up the back half of his run on the title, and I can't wait to talk to you about it today. So as I mentioned, the issues in this volume were written by Jerry Dugan, and they were illustrated primarily by Matteo Lali and Stefano Caselli. The issues in this volume were published by Marvel Comics beginning in 2020. The volume itself collects Marauders 16 through 27, and it also includes King in Black Marauders issue 1. And finally, this is an oversized hardcover collection with nice glossy paper stock, and it comes in at 384 pages. Taking a closer look now at the dust jacket, some of you guys might recognize this format. This is the same kind of additions they've been doing for a lot of this Dawn of X or Krakoa era hardcovers. I really love them. Each of the different X books that get this oversized hardcover treatment have had their own color and little logos and things like that, but it's that same aesthetic for this Dawn of X era or Reign of X or whatever this book now covers. It's the post House of X Powers of Ten era for all of the X-Books, but I love the design work here, and the Marauder's Sky or Baby Blue is just really crisp, and it's a vibrant shock of color on the bookcase. And now I'll go ahead and show you one more quick look at that entire dust jacket. It's a whole lot of blue. In a world where so many dust jackets are crammed to the brim with artwork, this kind of minimalist approach for a lot of the cover art design is definitely something decidedly different, and frankly, I am a sucker for this format. I love these additions. I just wish we got bigger collections and maybe some that were a little bit more intuitive for those trying to collect this entire era of X-Books, but that being said, I'm still very happy with this collection. And now we'll go ahead and transition to the hardback book itself. As you can see, the under the dust jacket art is that same color of crisp sky or baby blue with the Marauder's skull and X logo that we see throughout this series and in the title font. I really like this. This is the exact same design we see with the volume one hardcover. And I just think it looks really sleek. Again, I love this color. I love the vibrancy and these additions look fantastic. And now that we've covered the exteriors, I'll just take a moment to show you the binding on this collection. Overall, no complaints. I think that this book is really well made. Like I said, very consistent with the other oversized hardcovers in these X books. And I really enjoy it. There is a little bit of gutter loss on some pages, which is to be expected. But other than that, it's a pretty solid book. Diving into the collection proper now, I will say the events of this Volume 2 hardcover do take place after the X of Swords crossover event, so I believe if you collected the Volume 1 of the Marauders, that would get you through about issue 12. I believe 13 through 15 of Marauders are collected in that X of Swords volume, and then followed up by this with issue 16 through 27, and throwing in that King in Black issue. And to my knowledge, this does round out the end of Jerry Duggan's run on this Marauder's title, and it's a good send-off for this whole series overall, so it's a really great collection to have. I know some people have expressed their dismay that we don't get those missing Marauder's issues that are part of X of Swords, but I get why they did that. Those issues are definitely part of that overall crossover, and without those issues, you don't really miss a ton of stuff narratively. I feel like if you wanted to, you you could actually read volume one of this Marauders hardcover and then jump straight into this volume two without missing too much. I do recommend trying to read X of Swords if you can. Personally, that's an event that I enjoyed and it does shake up the X universe quite a bit. But for those looking just to experience the Marauder series, you could probably just get away with the volume one and this volume two. So this volume picks up after Kitty Pride, now going by Kate Pride, had some, well, let's call them issues with the Black King, Sebastian Shaw, and this volume basically picks up with her retaliation against Shaw. Her and Emma Frost confront Shaw and exchange a bit more than words. After that, we basically just bounce around with the crew of the Marauder as they effectively go port to port having different adventures. 
I will say there is a decidedly large chunk of this volume that does take place around Madripoor and Krakoa, so those are the primary set pieces for this volume, but I think that both of those locations are exceptionally fun and have a lot of rich detail and story elements. As far as your cast of characters, it's primarily Kate Pride and Lockheed, with the mutants Bishop, Iceman, Pyro, Storm, Emma Frost, and a couple other mutants that come in and out. For fans of the once leader of the Morlocks, Callisto, she gets some pretty ample time to shine in this volume as well, and that was a notable addition for me and something I enjoy reading in the pages of this book. Like I mentioned earlier, we also are treated to the King in Black issue, which you don't really need to read King in Black to enjoy that issue, but I'm very excited they decided to include it in this collection, as it really pads out this volume, and you feel like you almost get to read a bonus issue that's not really super tied in with the rest of this book, but doesn't feel out of place either. Either. It feels like just another one of their nautical themed adventures and I had a blast with it. This volume also really shows Iceman at some of his strongest I've ever seen him. He has some different uses of his powers in this volume than I've ever seen previously that really show you just what it means to be an Omega level mutant and I thought that that was a fun feature in this collection as well. I will say for those trying to go through all of the X-related books in this Krakoa era, I don't know that Marauders is necessarily the most essential read, but that being said, it is still a very fun read, and I think that the team is very eclectic and interesting, and some of their exploits are certainly worth reading and pretty novel. I do like the way that we get to see a lot of the different uh, Krakoa kind of mutant nation politics as explored by the crew of the Marauders as they travel throughout different nations. I think that it lends a different kind of perspective than some of the books that are centered more on Krakoa or maybe just deep within missions that you don't always get to see all the politics around it. And you get to see more of that as far as how the nations are reacting to Krakoa and the mutants within the pages of this book. And I really enjoyed that overall. As far as the art goes by Lolly and Caselli, I think it's really crisp, vibrant, and beautiful. The character models are all very distinct and fully realized, and it just has a brightness about it. Again, I think the art actually matches the tone of the book, which is overall very lighthearted and just fun, and I think that that is always really good to see, where the art and the narrative more or less go hand in hand. And speaking of the art, I do recommend getting this oversized hardcover because I love seeing the illustrations at this level. Just having that little bit of oversizing really allows for you to capture more detail as you read through these comics. While we're flipping through as well, I did want to highlight one issue within this series that I really enjoyed, and that's this issue that covers them talking about Storm. Basically, the crew of the Marauder are, you know, just sailing around within an actual storm. They're all kind of having dinner together, talking, exchanging pleasantries, and they decide to kind of give Storm a sort of farewell dinner before she transitions to her next adventures. But all of them basically recount some of their greatest hits and moments with the incredible mutant Storm. And I just really love the way they approach this. It's kind of this fun story where it almost reminds me of everyone gathering around a campfire sharing stories. And it just really had this feel of camaraderie and just playfulness. I do like that we get to see all these little flashbacks as each person tells their story of some kind of instance regarding Storm. And I just think that this was a very well-executed issue and a really creative concept. I think, frankly, I would have actually liked to see more issues like this within the Marauder's Run or maybe within all of these X-Books recently because I thought it was just a great way to show how all of these characters can interact with one another it had a fun frame narrative, so I feel like the storytelling was unique and different. Other than just showing the events happening right now, present day, it was fun having a reflection-based issue that kind of slowed down the events that were happening in real time, and they just got to spend time recollecting and being friends with one another. It made this feel like such a team book in a way that some of the issues just frankly hadn't, and I really enjoyed that. It made me so locked into these characters, and it made them just a believable crew in my eyes. And I thought that was just well done, absolutely had to highlight this issue. 
And if you didn't catch it, that was issue 20. This book contains so many other stories, including one issue from the Hellfire Gala event, but overall it's just a really great read. At the back of the book, we're treated to all of the cover designs, as well as some bonus art, sketches, materials, and that really rounds out our collection. While I don't think that Marauders is maybe my favorite book in this whole Krakoa era, if you're a fan of this phase of the X-Men books, I still think it might be worth giving it a read. Particularly if you're a fan of Kitty Pride, Storm, Emma Frost, or any of these other Marauders characters. You can pick up your own copy of this Marauders hardcover volume 2 at Organic Price Books. And for more reviews from me, Dominic, you can check out my channel, The Comic Book Report. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think of Marauders in the comments below, and have a good one.